Coach, it, you know, the one thing that you've built, and we talked about this last year, is you're building a culture of winning, toughness, and guys who want to come out and work. Talk a little bit of how that's paid off so far. Uh, it's just Honestly, it's just been a great offseason. Um, I'm really excited just about the whole culture of the school right now. We had a, a big summer. Um, we were working out Monday through Thursday and had the whole school involved, our girls' volleyball, girls' soccer. Um, we had uh, cross-country, uh, men's basketball, I mean, you, across the board. And we had over 120 kids in here a day, and it was just a really cool, fun summer. Yeah. And I'm really excited for the community. Everybody's buying in. It's been a lot of fun. Well, you have to these days, right? I mean, everybody's got to buy in. Absolutely. And that's what I think a lot of people have been able to take a look at just how our players are looking, walking through the halls, and they're like, well, we want to be a part of that too. And I think that's just a big thing uh, that's really taken place. And, in fact, it's even responded with we're going to get um, some upgraded equipment in our weight room just because we're so many kids are working out where everything's deteriorating, yeah. So, which is a good problem to have. Yeah. So uh, it, it's, we're kind of just seeing it community-wide, and uh, even in our middle school kids. So it, it's been a blessing. Ready to get this thing going again? Oh, I can't wait. Finally got some football weather, 90 yeah. degrees. Need to get these kids acclimated. <laughs> can't wait. Well, I'll tell you what, the players, I know, and we talked about this, uh, you know, times before that you got to come out of here and work when the, sometimes the, the conditions aren't ideal. Oh, yeah. And like, um, we're going to do some extra condition day just because we got a 90 degree day because we got to get acclimated. The boys don't know that yet, but it'll be fun. <laughs> Coach, you, you guys have turned things around here, and again, it's a lot of hard work. Talk about this. I mean, we're, we'll break this whole thing down as the weeks come along, but talk about this week as you get ready for your scrimmage and some of the things you got to work on this week. Uh, well, this week's um, just always a great test run for us, um, especially showing that we got 24 freshmen, um, 56 players this year. So it's good just getting everybody to realize how this is how the week's going to go, and here's how it's going to be regimented and your time schedule and everything. So, um, you know, right now we could have definitely gone with a pro pad practice, but we're going to go helmets only like we normally do do our Monday preparation to walk through like we normally do in the week and just get the kids ready for how the, the rest of the season is going to go. Coach, you know one thing about it, it, it can be a, a long season. Talk a little bit about how you kind of make sure that the players stay fresh all year long and, and knowing when you get into the later stages of the season, they're still healthy and still, you know, ready to go toward tournament time. Well, and I think that's one thing the kids saw last year is, the, um, you know, we had uh, – Basically, we're making sure we lift in season. And a lot of the kids, if they're not in my strength and conditioning class, have a hard time getting in. And I had voluntary lifting in the mornings, and our attendance wasn't that good. And I think they saw that come in that sectional, fourth quarter sectional game versus Eastern Hancock. We go in, we're up 21 to 6. We lose that game 34 or 35 to 21. A lot of it was our, our strength. Um, we had some injuries occur, and we got to make sure that we're getting stronger throughout the season this year rather than um, kind of deteriorating and, and getting weaker. Coach, you're making a little bit of a change at quarterback. Uh, at least that's what I understand. Talk about that. What was the decision behind that? Um, well, honestly, uh, Dylan came into my closeout meeting and uh, told me, Coach, uh, I'd like to play both ways next year, and um, I'd like to do it at running back. And I said, okay, we'll get you the ball there then. Um, and, and I noticed something in him when we got to play defense at the end of the year. He, he was just having more fun. And I think it, was, uh, it wasn't a performance thing. It's what he wanted to do. Um, and I could tell you he's been a very pleasant surprise, and there's going to be some fireworks with him this year. I can't wait. And we got a really good quarterback battle going on right now with two sophomores. Um, so I think it's going to be really fun to have him and Chris Pritchett teamed up in the backfield. with uh, we got a multitude of running backs in our wishbone attack, so it's going to be a lot of fun this year. All right, from that quarterback situation then, you, you again, two sophomores. Yeah. Not a lot of experience there from a varsity standpoint then. No, but you know what? I think last year um, going these two kids, they went out and they played Lutheran and Cathedral and, and went through um, our TCJ schedule and and got a lot of experience um, and I think they got to play at a high level speed with those other two games I've mentioned and uh, th they're showing me that they're already ready for varsity speed and uh, it, it's been a lot of fun it's been Austin Snyder and Ryan Dickinson and um, you know right now we're just continue to go with equal reps and we're going to one of them they each complement e each other in different ways and we're not going to go with a two quarterback system but um, you know we're going to run the ball we're a smash mouth program so we just need someone to be a signal caller in there show some leadership and just march us down the field. What do you expect Friday night again? Your first time out against someone else. Talk about Friday. Uh, it's going to be fun going against Eastern Hancock. Uh, they're a good program. They've knocked us out the past two years in the first round. So I think our boys are ready to play them. i got to remind them that it's just a scrimmage and everybody's going to get equal reps and this is what we're doing. There's no score here. Um, but, uh, the, you know, they got a really good, another good head coach um, the, in Doug Armstrong. They, they lose a Hall of Famer and replace them with another Hall of Famer. So that's great for us. And they're in our sectional. So, you know, it's always, I like getting to go out early and play a good team. 
and a good physical team. So that's what we're looking for Friday night. Who's going to come out and hit? Who's going to block? Who's going to tackle? And who's going to be ready for that game speed come when the real Friday night lights hit? Will Friday, one last thing, if I can, will Friday make your decision easier on who your starting quarterback's going to be? Uh, yes, yeah. We're going to go out there, kind of give them equal reps, and, and just as a coaching staff, sit down and evaluate what we want to do.